Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today Apple users got some sad news because it looks like the ability to sideload iOS apps is going to be removed in the very near future. In November 2020, when Apple first released the M1 Apple Silicon lineup, there was a hidden unintentional feature, I suppose, where users could install iOS apps onto the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, which had not been opted into by the developers. So there were some interesting use cases. For example, you could install Instagram and upload photographs and videos directly through the app instead of using a smartphone. And there were also some very interesting gameplay possibilities too. So this is the Minecraft iOS app running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And this is an interesting use case because this particular version of Minecraft is the mobile version, which can connect to Bedrock servers. This is running in four x three, which is the iPad aspect ratio, but it's still very, very playable. And you can kind of see if I run around a bit, it's very, very smooth and works really well. And this will allow us to connect to Bedrock servers. This is something that the native Minecraft or the Rosetta 2 Minecraft won't be able to do because those are the Java versions of the game. So at the moment, I'm running Big Sur 11.2 beta. So I'm just gonna do a demonstration of what happens when you try to download a app which is not on the App Store. So I've done a search for a Dragon Quest 4, and if it was available to download for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, it would be available here, but it's not. Um, fortunately, I've actually associated it with my account, and I'm just gonna download it to my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this is a game that I've previously purchased and installed on my iPhone in the past. So once that game's downloaded, I'm just gonna control click on the row and then click export IPA. And then I'm gonna put it in this folder. So now I'm gonna double click on this IPA file to install it. And as we can see, the app is still available to install at the moment. This game is seem to be running fine. At the moment, the beta code, which suggests that Apple will block users, is not currently active. However, it looks like it's something that's probably going to be implemented in the future if they're coding this right now. So um, this Big Sur 11.2, this is not the correct number, still allows us to sideload the apps, but um, it's probably something that Apple is going to not allow us to do in the future. And It'll be a real shame for Apple to block this unintended feature, but I can understand why developers wouldn't really want their apps run in the wrong environment without the right testing, because it can result in things like customers complaining about something not working when it's not intended to be run on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. For example, some of the controls are not quite ready yet. Some games don't really support keyboard and mouse, and they're not really designed to be played like that without actual touch controls. I do hope that more developers opt in and make their iOS apps available for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And that this also encourages developers to port actual native Apple Silicon ports to the Mac desktop experience because it's going to be quite trivial for somebody to port their iPad now to the desktop experience and to provide the proper aspect ratio and controls that that experience deserves. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.